Hi guys, welcome to another video by Dexcelps. In programming, testing plays a major role. Out of several types of testing, here we are going to touch the basics of unit testing and discuss a simple example that you can start with. What is a unit in software engineering? It can be defined as the smallest testable part in an application. Testing each of these parts independently is known as unit testing. In practice, this will be performed by a software developer or sometimes by quality assurance staff. It's off. That means I turn it on and just walk away. <laughs> Now, if you talk about a programming language like Python, it has its own unit test framework. This is helpful to write unit tests following a predefined format. This module provides a rich set of tools for constructing and running tests. In this video, we are going to try out a few of them. Mainly, we can highlight two categories of testing, manual and automated. In manual scenario, we must run separate code blocks to check each unit within the entire code. If it has only a few units to check, this is reasonable to use. But when we deal with a large set of units, this is not a practical way to perform. Since each time we change the code, we must run these tests again and again. That's why unit tests are important as a form of automated testing. Here, we are going to demonstrate a simple example on how to write a unit test for a class in Python with the unit test framework. We are using two different Python files, one for the main code which includes the class and the next one for the unit test. The class we are using here is car which has the following methods. Register the car, check if the car is registered, add mileage value to the car, retrieve the mileage of the car, get the grade of the car. You can see them on the screen as well. In the next file in which we run the unit test, we should follow this structure. First, import the unit test module. Next, create the test class which inherits the unit test dot test case. Then, add one method for each test. Finally, add an entry point to execute the tests from the command line using unit test main. A test case is created by subclassing unit test dot test case. As a convention, the name of each method with the test class starts with the word test. This is to inform the test runner about which methods represent tests. Theoretically, we can use the assert statements to verify the values returned by the methods of our class. Practically, unit test framework provides many other assertion methods. A few of them are as follows. As a equal to check for an expected result. As a true or as a false to verify a condition. As a traces to verify that a specific exception gets raised. By using these methods instead of asset statements, we can accumulate all the test results and produce a report at the end. At the end of the test, a report will be generated like this. It gives significant outputs to the test runner. It indicates the number of test cases run within the test run and the time taken to go through them. Specifically, the three dots which are in the top are also an indication. The dot means the relevant three test cases are successful. This output differs when there is an error in the code block. Let's recreate an error and check how it differs. The change for the code is made as highlighted here. This is going to affect the first test case we mentioned in our unit test. The output clearly shows the error. The dotted nodes now show two dots and a capital E, which means that out of the three test cases, two were successful and the other one failed. I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. Hopefully, now you have all you need to start writing tests for your application if you haven't done before. If you enjoyed this tech app, please like and share. If you have any suggestions, feedback or questions, don't hesitate to comment. We are planning to bring more useful content from different tech fields in future. To stay tuned, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. See you soon.